reason versus emotion. How can you better connect with your clients using emotions? I am three plus key, your favorite social worker. I'm here to encourage you to pursue the smile by prioritizing the Lord, your physical health and persistent education. And today we're going to talk about reason versus emotions, how to connect with clients using emotions. So first, um, when you think about reason, a reasonable person, we think of someone as uh, cool, rational, uh, sophisticated, train of thought. When we think about a very emotional person uh, that tends to connotate a uh, primitive or impulsive person, uh, someone who flies by the seat of their pants due to the whims of how they're feeling in the moment. And in our society, we tend to hold a thought process of uh, reason should override emotions. And in some cases, this might be true, but as studies have come out, they are showing that this is not necessarily the case. So emotions uh, actually guide reason and make us more rational. How is that? Um, the problem is that most people do not understand how their emotions function. So for instance, emotions assign value to things, what's important, what's good or bad. So you see a bear, <laughs> you get scared. What happens next? Um, your body reacts and you fight or flight or flee or fawn with the bear. So the rational thing to do would be probably run or depending on the type of bear, lay down and, and get into a fetal position. However, your emotions um, dictate what happens next and your reaction to certain emotions as well. So bringing it back to a social work perspective, um, understanding your emotions regarding fear in response to a threat um, ahead of time, if you're hiking in the woods and you know that you're the type to run, say from a mountain lion or a bear, you could probably arm yourself with bear spray or have a, have a, a route um, in which that you would run. Or if you know that you freeze when faced with a threat, you could better assess that situation. Maybe it's not time to go in bear season or what have you. So in this way, understanding your emotions can help you better adjust to challenges or particular situation. And so with that said, reason filters the emotions for good decision making. Um, I'm scared right now. So next I'm going to X, Y, Z. I am um, very happy right now. I'm in euphoria. When that happens, I tend to lean for a cigarette or what have you. Emotions put us in the right mentality so that we can effectively think about the situation that we are in the middle of. And again, being proactive with understanding your emotions um, can better help guide you through situations. So why does this matter for us as social workers? Hopefully by this point, we have done the personal and professional development to understand our own emotions. And this is actually going to aid you um, moving forward. So first, I'd like to introduce the ruler method. That is recognize, understand, label, express, and regulate emotions. So let's take a uh, social service of helping somebody through the housing process. Typically, as social workers, we're meeting people at points of crisis. They're escalated or apathetic. 
to their current circumstances. So the first thing, recognize, understand, label, express, and regulate. The first thing is to recognize the situation that we're in and how we're coming together in this moment. Most likely, there's a challenge. Um, there's a crisis occurring. Emotions are are running high, and the person is upset. Just recognizing that we're meeting in that type of emotional space in the in the first place. Next is to understand the emotion. Um, they're probably, and you would gauge through um, verbal communication and nonverbal communication. You would get some sort of context. How did you come to this social service or come to this space? Understanding, are they, again, apathetic? Are they escalated? Are they frustrated? What is going on here, this situation? Next is to label the emotion. That sounds frustrating. Or um, are you more angry or sad? that this is occurring that again um in context you're going through this uh eviction right now what does that feel like and then we want to express the emotion um what is this how does this present for you right now how do you express anger um when you're not here because i'm a stranger what does this look like for your family to experience this anger frustration, sadness in this moment. And finally, regulate, recognize, understand, label, express, and we're going to regulate those emotions. So many times people may be um, dysregulated, they're yelling, they're very upset, they're crying or sobbing. It is our job to co-regulate and kind of neutralize. So um, a phrase I use not with clients is, I'm not going to join your chaos. So let's take an example. Um, the agency closes at 3 p.m. A, um, a person comes in at 2.50 in crisis. They, they need housing right now or whatever the social service is. So um, the very first thing I'm going to do in the way of regulation is to say, oh my gosh, I'm so happy you found us. I'm so glad you're here. Um, I just have to tell you, we have a hard stop at three. It has nothing to do with you. It's just, I want to respect everyone's time, um, including your own. So I'm going to get ask you some basic questions and get to know a little bit about your situation. And hopefully I can give you at least one action step moving forward. And please um, come back. You know, our hours are 12 to 3. Um, and I would love to see you again at the next date. So let's get started. And so that sets the expectation. The person knows um, they know they're late, right? They also know that. Here's a calm person, hopefully um, perceived as a safe person. I'm going to come out of this with something of value. And so that sets the tone for that. We want to be sitting down, uh, facing each other or at a slight angle. Um, and we'll move forward in that space. I want to keep an even tone. Um, and I want to make sure that they feel heard and valued in this space. So that's just one way to regulate their high intensity emotions in that moment. It's the ruler method. Again, recognize, understand, label, express, and regulate emotions. Emotions are a central part to the art of human connection. Without connection, we are completely ineffective as social workers and then what are we doing why are we here um there's a there's a chance that we could cause harm if we're not seeking to form some type of connection um and finally knowing how good someone is the client is 
at discerning, labeling, and expressing their emotions can give insight into their current challenges, such as employment, um, parenting, or housing again, just following that model. Uh, We're in a housing crisis. And what is a common occurrence is application denial. So kind of assessing the the client for their ability to discern how they manage their own emotions. Again, the ruler method, are they able to recognize, understand, label, express, and regulate their own emotions? Um, And if not, how is this affecting their face-to-face when they go in and they're applying for housing? If you're not coming off in a way that is agreeable and friendly, and the person behind you is, who do you think the favor is going to lean toward? And um, so with that, interpersonal skills are key, but our emotions do affect our interpersonal skills and how we're coming off. Um, It's the way of the world. It may not be fair, but um, that's the situation we find ourselves in, in particular to housing. But um, employment is a common challenge, Um, a a super common reason for people to have their employment terminated is poor interpersonal skills, their inability to manage deadlines, um, this type of thing. Also popular uh, challenge uh, that we can all relate to is with parenting. How are we interacting with our our children? They're mirrors of us. (laughs) So if we're escalated, they're escalated, except we're the adults. And in our escalation, if we're now embarrassed or, or, or choosing to use corporal punishment, to make the child comply, um, a, a good place to start would be how are we able or how is the, how is the client able to um, discern, label, and express their emotions? That assessment will be key. And so that's why this conversation matters of reason versus emotions and how to connect better with clients using emotions. Um, My name is Three Plus Key. I am your favorite social worker. And um, hit the subscribe button for more content like this. Uh, Like this video if you love it. And share this video with someone who could find this information helpful. And with that said, I will talk to you later.